What's going on guys, Alpha the Wizard back at it with another video. Today we have me, Alpha the Wizard, and our guest, the DB Grinder. Shout out to him. Yo, what's up, what's up? Uh, they were just VOD reviewing the match that me and uh, Brett here, Alpha the Wizard, played last week. Uh, I definitely did some plays in that. I would like to uh, go over those and show that I'm not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Same, dude. I know I misplayed a lot in this game, but without further ado, we'll go ahead and dive right in. DB Grinder won the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot and decided to go first. Paper gang, paper gang, paper gang, paper gang, always. Yes, sir. All right. In opening hands, it looks like we have Solik, Rhino, Scream, Hobness, and Merrily. And on his end, he has Skullmeister, Ash, Magnema, Starter, and another Bistio. Also, yeah, the, the DB uh, replays have been a bit laggy today. Yeah, so don't mind us. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, he opened the best card in the deck. Let's go. Starting off with Starter. And then... Bye. Hey, starting with starter, cause bro, you just play in the halfness so hard, cause you can't like this deal to stop their tier. Hmm. Yeah. And I swear, every every time I draw starter, I have a best deal with it, and my opponent draws halfness every time. Hmm. Yeah. No, that actually does make a lot of sense because it just conflicts with the best deals. Mm -hmm. Um. But I mean, I guess this is just like a good example here because like we had halfness, and then um, see if we mill good, planets talents and solik i mean it's not the greatest but i guess solik is just like good follow-up yeah i chose to not ash have this because like I, realistically i'm just gonna have to deal with it again like next turn maybe i could have i, I game two game three if i go first i ash it because then i have floodgate in yeah definitely makes sense um now he did ash the solik okay which is super fair because i mean that really gets like any tier yeah so have i kept meister because i have like meister sornir magma so i can stop like all three tier names next turn so i don't really have to worry about like tiers themselves just like the other stuff that they make oh yeah and then just getting smashers is just so good against like kit too yeah so a lot of people have like cut down the one kick hallows so they just get punished really hard by smashers. So then we go for a sprint play. Yo, sprint is actually insane because like just angler, bro. It's just so okay, good. So good. Sprint's crazy. Should should have never been made. It was better support for tier than it was sprite. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Now, what I'm wondering, like, I feel like Havnessing, like, on the first, like, you know, after starter blue, like, it had to have been correct, right? Like, yeah, yeah, if you don't, then I can search red and I can just make it to where, like, you can't Havness. Yeah, and then just Gigantic is just, like, the ultimate punish, too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get Swap Frog, Swap Dump. Yo, no cap, though. I'm just waiting for somebody to <laughs> bring Dupe Frog out. <laughs> <laughs> just waiting for it I, i've been testing that card a bunch like playing the dupe frog over the third swap frog i still don't know if it's good or not it, it's probably better than playing the third swap frog but i need to test it more yeah so i mean yeah we got elf toad so far probably just set smashers and pass turn and we draw into a Medora. So, I mean, the hand is pretty solid. I mean, Sheeran would be kind of nice here. Uh, standby, get Dupe Frog. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, I wish. It's gonna go and just get Swap. And then main one. Oh, uh, Scream. Uh, right here, I misplayed. Uh, I'm supposed to toad negate this, and I don't toad negate it. Toad negate scream. Now, yeah. whoa, why do you think you should negate the scream? So I think I'm supposed to try to stop every mill that your deck tries to do. Um, so right here, I can like for sure guarantee that like your tears aren't gonna go through because I have like all the best deals. But I think that if you like activate scream. And then, like, it's going to stay face up on the field, too. So I have to deal with it this turn. I have to deal with it next turn. And, like, if I'm not outing it right away, 
then outing at next turn is just so much worse too. Um, I, th I think like taking it and setting it there would have been pretty good. And then like I can just like elf summon back Toad right away because you already have Havnus on board. Yeah. So then, still, like, so then I have like Toad Smashers and three Graveyard Interruptions against your hand. I mean, that, like, that's super fair though because you're just solving like two problems in one by taking the Scream. Because now here it's just like we just get a bunch of cards. Yeah, and walking with screams crazy. But... And then like the mills were pretty decent. We did it like kill a Guido, kill a Ghidora, and like the mills were. Uh, Those mills are great. Hobnes. Oh yeah, I also get I also get punished super hard by uh, uh, a shuffler because now my elf is just never live. Holy! And we're going to the casino, baby. Let's go. <laughs> But you did have double bestial, so that's just kindness particulars. Like I don't I feel like just two seals against tears. Just if you have like a board established already plus bestials, it's just it can be like very like traumatic. Yeah, yeah, especially like sprite too, because like if you like leave magma on board or something, they can like swap frog bounce it back. Yeah. And that can just more bestials, and if you can play through the bestials the first time, then there's a decent chance like. The next two best deals that come down your next turn are just gonna, you know, secure the game. One hundred percent for the mills. The only real punish here is milling angler, I guess. But you know, uh, free beavers. I guess you already have them in grave. So I mean, there's a reality. There's not really a punish for like milling ten. I guess like we always go for it. Yeah, I mean, mill angler. All I'm getting is one beaver. You're gonna get way more than me. Yeah, 100%. And so like, yeah, we, uh, we were just always milling 10 there. And hitting like Heartbeat is pretty nice too. You know, just getting Solik back so I can keep one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the main link's going off here. Bringing out Rhino. Yeah. I, did, I, don't, I think I misplayed. I missed the Heartbeat. That I think that's what happened. Or no, I did. Okay. Because that was a yeah, whole new game. Yeah. Like, oh, it's just like a free free recursion. I'm just like doing like all the trap cards just do way more than they ever should. Yeah, and there's really like no punish either. Like, yeah, really, really good searches. Scream, dude. Mill and scream crazy. Yeah, and then we're just gonna go shit. I can't remember if you steal this or not. I think you did. Cause, uh, oh, yeah, you did Meister. Yeah, Colin wasn't chain blocked. You know what? I'm not about to get hit by like some chain block on the last tier name. And then like a Kaleido being summoned could be really good. Mm. I guess it wouldn't be that good, kind of smashers, but like a tell what you have others. The shuffle back just so they make it a whole mechanic of tier broken because like if you play against like any rogue deck like salad or you know PK or anything, it's just like they just don't even stand a chance because of the Ishizu card. Yeah, decks that like graveyard effects, like the mill fives, like the mill fives against my deck crazy. Oh, 100 percent I mean milling five when you have no beavers in deck like yeah there's really just there's no punish whatsoever like it's just actually just kind of crazy i think that was my biggest punish was making the dark play like i think this was the actually the turning point in the game was just because honestly like realistically in every match there's always like a specific turning point in a game and i think this was it yeah i should have also uh used elf effect to summon back I was, I was thinking about like not using it um because like you had the shufflers but it honestly just didn't really make sense to be honest uh but i was okay with toad getting beat over because toad getting beat over means i get to have beaver for follow-up yeah that's and but that's may, maybe maybe that's a reason to use elf, like elf target blue shuffle around that's good because then i can like i'll have toad i mean yeah it makes sense because like the shuffler can potentially like free up some room maybe elf back toad i don't know i definitely messed up the interactions pretty bad here like i will say i'm pretty sure like with all my mills i definitely could have played this better but i mean i guess that's why we do this right and i did make dollar here uh made zeus because like i don't even think strong as it could have been though because it's like just that dark play just like really screwed things up because we already have like a Solik like in Grave. So, I mean, realistically, we could like get Crime 
in this particular build, I wasn't maining the two Solik and Crime. It was just specifically two Solik. So this play was just like, I don't lie. Already had got, I think, or you, didn't, you got a heartbeat back. But at this point, it's just like having like Avnus in hand or something right have been bullshit. Oh, yeah. Avnus in hand really scary. Yeah, I think when you. Oh man, what was the last card? It was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a rhino. <laughs> <laughs> that was true. I was like, am I about to get hit with like? Am I about to get hit with the halves and then you know have this just most crazy and you lose? Oh yeah, so, like, so that's it. I went Zeus effect chain shuffler to put back Solix so that Scream can search it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, like actually because you have like shufflers in graveyard already. Yeah, and the, I mean, realistically, I could have, like, tried to make a Baguska, but then I knew you were searching, like, Abyssal in the end phase, and Druidsworm's just gonna out it, like, no problem. So, like, yeah. at this point, looking at the game, I'm just kind of, like, cooked, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> I don't know, bro, those, all those Graveyard Shufflers, they do a lot. They really do. The Shizu cards are just broken, but then, like, here's just... You know, having Havness would have been nice because it could have just been more interruption. But, like, at this state, like, all I really have is Shufflers. So I'm just kind of like, you know, I'm cooked. I'll use the Jerusalem during your end phase. I was like, okay, there's like probably a Havness in hand. I really don't need to summon Jerusalem. And, uh, I turn. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. So what you mean? Like, Jerusalem Zeus, so that way I have, like, cleared. Cause like I, like beating over Zeus isn't easy here because I've already gone through like my Sousa and it's like elf something back. Thing about Sprite is like it has trouble getting bigger bodies. Mm -hmm. like, it's kind of close. Yeah, I was trying to force the shuffle so I could just over like for Gigantic. And I was like, okay. I mean, you just let me summon it. I was like, okay, fair enough. So I'll just, like make this anyways, but now I'm going to go through. Yeah, because you already used your beef, so. It's... Yeah. I was also scared of decking out. Like, you and I can just actually deck me out. 100%. I think there's a reality where I could have just put some of the shul or the to where, like, <laughs> if I remember clearly, you know, it came up. So jet yeah, add starter. I think that three. But, to be fair, I think Sprite only decked out if it, like, misplays. Like, if first thing gets decked out, it's because, like, he misplayed. Yeah, at this point, it's like, oh, cam. Nah, I don't because I can beat over the Zeus. Oh, true. I wasn't thinking about that. Uh, wait. I'm at 8k. I think you... Sir, did you OT? Nah. Because I think the play here is, like, elf. Yeah, I mean, I really like how you played this out, because you kind of, like, just put me in a position where I, like, really couldn't bounce back. I needed Javi and not Rhino. Also, just Shuffler's my only interruptions. is just kind of bad, not gonna lie. Uh, I think you used Madora on my turn. The worm from summoning. Yeah, I'm not sure why I shuffled back to red. That was misplay. Yeah, but that's why we watched these. One hundred percent. Honestly, you know, somebody else like that same misplay. Someone my elf in the wrong zone because I could have protected red. Mmm. Yeah. So there's a reality. Um. That I've done. I think I could have right here. Oh, then. Yeah, and I mean, a difference, because, like, you just went battle phase attack over, but still, still a misplay on my part. Really. Audi and battle phase, I should, like, a thing to, like, yeah. gate red, and then... Yeah, I could have been double. Yeah. There's no reason for it to be done in, like, main phase 2 over battle, you know? And then add, um, a Shaylin. Mm -hmm. And then you'd be able to beat over my 2. Yeah, Shaylin, that card is just so broken, like... <laughs> Oh, this, this, is like, you're in the five, Mark. this card's in the live. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. And then, yeah, I think, uh, ooh. Here, here I was actually taking out. You're just gonna mill a Gito, and then you mill 10, and I actually just lose. Did hit two games there, too. That's actually kind of insane. And then we had Kelbeck. Let's see. Kelbeck. Yeah, that drew us for my only option left. So I hopped and married. Mill cards left in deck. <laughs> After mills, I had five too. <laughs> Crazy. Wait, it's going. Yeah, I was so scared of an Agito mill. I was like, nah, I can't the deck up. Insulation, like getting her advantage, that's fine. Losing the deck out, that's just a different level of disrespect. Oh, 100%. <laughs>
Storming strategy. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I think I just claw heart spun back. Was it? I think it was red. Or drew us red. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, it's red. The red was negated. On yeah, the only props too. Like we're gonna be lot. But I mean, so it's like the validate. Uh, yeah, so it's the real infinite impermanence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely think it was worm there. But then. It's like two rank four, or two level four. Um, it's kind of weird. Oh, getting a fusion. Maybe well, there's there. a world where like you babushka me, and you put back Druus Worm because you don't know the other card in hand is Druus Worm. Yeah, I definitely think that probably would have been a better line. Um, and you have like four cards in the deck, so it's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the top decks, and then you draw Meister for turn. That's pretty good draw considering Kaleido. I'm insane. <laughs> so we crazy out here. The process on this was I don't out the Druid Worm and I make like the Druid Matter, but I don't know. It's a pretty big body. The Kaleido's here? Yeah. I had like traps I had. And then... also, I there I ended this played because I could have linked away Druid to keep a level 2 on board so that way I can summon Gigantic, but like. The, the Gigantic actually just doesn't do anything, because, like, I went through everything. Um, I guess just having it to, like, beat over Kaleido, like, it's kind of... But you do it's like, the all punish. Yeah. Now I'm just, like, dwindled to nothing, and, yeah. Got outweighed by yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And I, I had to, like, so I didn't just, like, die... And one day we know, we're like not with the timer, you know, triple is like the rule. I agree. Do you I mean, that and then that? Do you like the, the different? But like, you know, game like, even though it's on Chinette Missing, oh, we just next to that. That was crazy, because right here I was literally, I was, I was like, don't draw Shaylin, don't draw Merely, because I banished all the Havnesses with my Bestials. So I was like, okay, don't, because you could just summon, and then you just like, Solic negate, and then. I can't bestial you because you don't have any monsters on board. Oh wow, you did banish all the havenesses too. <laughs> yeah, I, like I, I, I was scheming. I was like using my bestials on their hat. I was like, right, we got one. We got yeah. scheming on third one. And platinum. The mid was weren't just like I really did it too. If I had any mind, that would have been kind of nice. Not gonna lie. I don't remember. I mean, match end at all. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I don't really remember you either. Um, all yeah, my. Yeah, I told yeah, we looked at our open. I was like, oh, I'm not glad you. At nine minutes before I gotta go. <laughs> we gotta we gotta freestyle this. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, so like opening hands game two, we have Sharon, Rhino, Agito, Diviner, Merrily, and then he has Sonar. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this card. It's like Sarnia or something like that. Right, you're I just wing it with everything I so. <laughs> And then Star Meister Magnum. I mean, that's a very solid hand for you. Like, you have like Yeah, four... it's like almost the same hand as the last game. Where it's just starter and then four hands for us. <laughs> yeah, like starter is just crazy. But only going second is what makes it so insane. Okay. So you can go ahead and start off with Shilin, Rhino, Mill Heartbeat, Obby Effects. I feel like a Rhino. Okay, I didn't know. Lagging um, a little bit. Just ordinary do you. I think the I wasn't supposed to draw Sonar and Meister Rhino have and Imperm the Kick Allos. Ooh. No, that sounds kind of that sounds kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie. There's probably like a whole different way to play that out. Um, actually, no. I think you're onto something. So let me get to a Kick Allos and then like Meister the Rhino, just because Rhino does a lot. Um, but like Meister Rhino, you put back Rhino for free with your halfness. That's and true. Then, or I guess you put back Shaylin. No, no, actually, yeah, I did misplay because you you would probably put back Shaylin on field or something. Leave Rhino in grave, so you can summon it back off kit. Mm. And, and then yeah, imperm kit. Oh, that would have been so clean. <laughs> But then we see the Merrily Mills never fail. We didn't hit a tier, but we did hit the Kelbeck. Kelbeck is just crazy, bro. Me and all my homies hate Kelbeck. <laughs> too good. Too good. Me and my homies hate Kelbeck, bro. 
<laughs> Two, bro, and I a good time. Tell me, bro. I'm a non-tier player. Well, I wouldn't say that, but I was playing Sprite, bro. <laughs> Yeah, and honestly, like, though, like, you know, we're in, like basically a tier format, right? Like that's noble because, you know, like you're not a bad player not to play like the best deck. So that's respected. Play the deck a lot. I found that like, I don't know, Sprite, Sprite Mirror matches were a little bit weird because you, you want to build your deck, but like now you like the actual deck. Yeah, and we got lucky here and we yeah. well, we got it here. It's actually the middle as good as they could have been. I did another tier name, Ultron. But trigger a kind of nice. Um, this actually comes up, Cody. He's he t told me one is probably not correct. <laughs> really goo, but yeah. the card is crazy. <laughs> Going to elf. Elf to get back to finer. Yeah, and also I don't know what happened to the audio, but grinder kind of just like cut out here. But yeah, we're trying to do a little something. Um. But yeah, so we go ahead and just bring back Diviner, but he's going to go ahead and just chain the Magnumut. So he's banishing the Diviner, basically just like leaving me with like nothing. Um, having a Havness in hand here would be kind of clean. I think the list I was playing was pretty close to like Hani's list from the YCS. Um... Yeah, I think I might have made like a few changes, but nothing crazy. But I think it's hilarious that I just go ahead and make the Baguska here, knowing he's going to get a Druus Worm. But I mean, there's really no other better play, I guess. He just goes ahead and just like end phase drops Druus, and then he just draws Prosperity. Like, this man is actually <laughs> insane. And then he drops the Code Breaker, the Goo. Oh my god, the audio cut out before... We got to talk about the goo. That's actually kind of crazy, not gonna lie. He dropped the code breaker. Yeah, no, nah, like, it's safe to say Austin definitely, I'm sorry, DB Grinder definitely cooked me in this video. And it's just kind of, kind of wild, not gonna lie. Yeah, he's just going full sprint combo getting gigantic just popping off i literally have zero interruptions <laughs> and he's just gonna get red and like yeah i think this is just like pretty much curtains i don't think he like killed me here so i still have a chance i do have shufflers and he's just like cool bro like smashers out the back row which is a solid which is kind of insane and then we just go pro he goes prosperity yeah so i mean <laughs> what do you do i definitely think i could have played that out better especially since i had like some crazy mills but at the same time yeah we draw a rhino which is like normally really good right but he has red and his code breaker card comes back so it's like it's, it's just weird it's super weird because <laughs> like i have nothing now and now he has a live gigantic and he draws jet like he this man is just killing me here oh my god yeah but i will say things have to be different in the run back <laughs> they have to be i can't go out like this we can't go out sad but yeah no it definitely definitely was a lot of fun um yeah man obimaru banish rhino oh gigantic effects uh wait wrong detach get jet and obimaru banish and that is just game so yeah, it looks like I kind of got cooked by the grinder. So I mean, it is what it is. But yeah, that is the end of the video. Um, shout out to Austin for joining me in this video and this call. Um, it's definitely been a pleasure. Uh, make sure to go ahead and check out his channel. Link down below in the description. And uh, yeah, the collaboration uh, part two is coming up next. And with all that being said, I will see you in the next one.